This is what I always say when it gets hella hot outside. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Happy Thursday everybody, hope everyone is having a great summer. As you guys just saw, I was at school for something pasta related, but now I am back home. I'm just chilling outside playing some basketball. And tomorrow is going to be another fun day as I'm going to be out in the park with my friends playing some volleyball. So let's go. So this is me right now. Smack that ass. Is that hard? There's Janelle. Yeah. This is what happens when you stretch as long as possible. <laughs> I'm glad this floor that I'm on is like very slippery. That's good. Okay, it is the last day of July. Summer is almost over, and I'm going to go on a few trips before it ends. Uh, this week, I'm actually going to Disneyland. I'm actually going to leave tomorrow, and then come back on the 3rd of August. And yeah, hopefully the trip is fun. Also today, the channel has also passed 400,000 views, which is awesome. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Anyway, time to get going. <laughs> Yep. Ah! Press the button! Press the button! Press the button! That is from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Woo! 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 I've ever done. Ladies and gentlemen, it's officially the first day of school. I've now just left the house and now I'm walking to the bus. Thankfully, Tuesday and Thursday, I only have one class and it actually starts at 1.15. Uh, once I get there, I'm gonna head to the theater building because that's where my first class is at. And if I get there early enough, I'm just gonna like wait outside and I'm gonna talk about what has happened over the summer. And without further ado, let the third year begin. Okay, I'm officially at school now and my first and only class starts in 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna head inside the lounge and just like complete some videos. I don't have time to talk about some of the stuff that happened over the summer. So I'll do that when I have time. Ladies and gentlemen, I stay in corrected. My first class is actually in the dance studio. Now I have to walk all the way to the PE building. In under 20 minutes I have until class starts. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> That my first day of school is over but before I go I am going to film someone for a video so let's go oh! 
Okay, first day of school is officially done, and tomorrow is another day, and my first class actually starts at 9.30, and holy cow, is that gonna be a bit miserable, since it's, of course, morning. <laughs> oh! Okay, it is the second day of school now, and I just finished my first class. Okay, so funny story. So when I arrived at the theater building at like eight, all the doors were like locked. And so I decided to just go inside one of the classrooms at Robinson Hall and they were open and I was just in there chilling, watching videos. And then at 9.20, I decided to like go back to see if they were open. I tried to enter through that door and luckily a faculty member was there to open it for me. And then I waited in one of the classrooms downstairs because that's where it was scheduled to be at. And then another student uh, came in as she was taking the same class as me. Uh, we later find out as she, she saw on her phone that the class was actually upstairs and not downstairs. So we had to go up and it cost us to be like 10 minutes late. And the class was scheduled to end at 10.45, but it ended a lot earlier. And now I'm just going to film something for PASA, and we're gonna eat lunch. And my next class starts at 12. That is so loud. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the second day of school. I'm about to head home now. And my God, this day was a bit tiring at the start. Although uh, I was awake like in the morning, but then like my third class, which was another theater class, I started to like gas out and feel tired. But then my last uh, theater class, which started at 4 all the way to 5.40, I felt the energy rush and it helped me get through my day. And with that, it is time to head home. Okay, it is Thursday and my one and only class is actually canceled today. And so I'm actually going to help out with pasta at the tabling. I honestly thought today was going to be a chill one, but no, after that, I have like more stuff to do, so it's going to be a little bit tiring, but let's get through the day. Okay, day three of junior year is over tabling went pretty well and after that me and greg tried to get cameras for historian purposes but we weren't able to get them and after that i just watched a bit of the friendship games practice and that's about it now it's time to go home happy power rangers day it is august 28 2023 aka Power Rangers Day, the franchise is now 30 years old, and to celebrate, I'm going to do a tricking combo and post it on my YouTube shorts, but before that, I'm going to stretch my legs out in here in the dance studio. Luckily, this room was open. I was originally going to do it at the grass area near the music building, but it was like all dried out, it was all yellow and it didn't look safe. So I decided to do it uh, next to the health center. There's a grass area near the health center, which you've probably seen in one of my videos. Also, if you guys are curious where I got this shirt, I got this off of Hasbro Pulse. They got some great merch. I'll put the link in the description if you guys wanna buy yourselves. No, this is not sponsored. Now let's get stretching. Okay, it is like 9.20 now. I actually decided to take pictures with my uh, new Power Rangers shirt and post it on my Instagram, but it took me like 50 minutes. I want to post like two pictures of me just like doing a regular pose and like another one where it's just basically an action shot. The thing is, for the action shot, I wanted to try to do a jump spin back kick. Like, I was able to get that just a few weeks ago. And what's cool about that move is that if you're flexible enough, you can, like, hit the kick. But then if you, like, take a picture of it, there might be a chance you, like, 
jump into like an air split almost. <laughs> And I was able to get it a few times, but I wasn't like centered. And so I decided to do something else. I just decided to do a flying sidekick and those looked way better. I was easily able to center myself and now I'm done taking photos. I'll probably do the trick and combo like later in the day after my science class, which ends, which ends at 3.15. But holy cow, I'm tired. And now I'm going to my first class which starts at 9.30. And I brought my sketchbook with me because that's required. Shout out to Greg, he lent me it. Okay, my science class just ended and I have roughly 30 minutes to wreck one combo. And boy, I'm gonna be extra tired after this because my God, I was tired even during my class. Okay, it is August 29th, it is a Tuesday morning, and before I leave to go to school, like around 11, I'm going to talk about what happened over the summer, finally, while I edit a video. So my summer was fun for the most part. Uh, as you guys just saw, I went to uh, Disneyland and I hung out with friends. But some other things I did, I used the time to do more YouTube videos as I wanted to get a job over the summer, but unfortunately I didn't. And so that gave me more time to do more YouTube videos. I was able to post a lot of shorts and in doing so I was able to get three milestones like over the summer. I hit 600 in May, I hit 700 subs in July, and then recently I hit 800 and Surprisingly enough, I was able to get 800 subs within a month because like the last few milestones, I got them like a little over two months, but getting 800 subs, I was able to like get it a lot faster, which was kind of cool. As far as uh, how I was able to grow my channel a little bit quicker during that time, or during July, I decided to do uh, TikTok again. Figured it would help grow my channel out. And even like one of my friends suggested that I should do uh, TikTok to get more exposure. <laughs> and as you guys can tell, if you guys follow me on TikTok, I changed my TikTok name from the devil's favorite underscore angel. It was originally Angel Casal 012703. I think that would that's what it was, but the thing was I wanted my username to be the devil's favorite angel, but I put an underscore after favorite and before angel. Yeah, I've been posting there and it's not looking so hot. I'm not growing as quick as I would have thought I would. The TikTok algorithm has a way of doing things. And I'm obviously not going to post something that I don't want to do just for the sake of the algorithm. Now how it relates to me getting to 800 subs right now. I of course just decided to take the TikToks and then just post it on YouTube. And that's been getting a lot of traction recently. Like most of the videos that I posted there have gotten like... 5k views i've like consistently been getting 1k to 5k views per video it's been happening like frequently frequently like in the past month now as now as i mentioned before i said that i used to have a tiktok that was because back in the uh, junior year of high school this was during the time when the pandemic really struck the world you know, we were in our homes, my like, classes were shifted to online, and then like I was failing one of my classes. It was a US history class. And then one of the assignments that we had to do, and I had to download TikTok for like one time only, well at the time. 
I basically had to like uh, do some kind of presentation. I just like made a TikTok video regarding like capitalism and that honestly saved my grade. I was able to pass that class. I mean, how, how do you think I got to college? <laughs> it's odd that posting my TikToks onto YouTube does better than actually doing TikTok. <laughs> Back then, the TikTok algorithm worked differently, and I think a lot of people were able to, like, get a lot of followers within a few months or so. But I think with me doing TikTok now, and with how the algorithm is, it's way different, and it's way harder. <laughs> well, on the topic of TikTok, uh, one of my videos that currently has, like, almost 8,000 views, one of my shorts, uh, it was me talking about uh, this TikTok uh, prank is basically like these parents and even adults do this to other adults is this egg prank where they're like uh they're like cooking something as they're about to like crack an egg and they crack it next to uh their kid or their boyfriends if they're you know adults and like i decided to be fun to just like jokingly call it abuse and then I posted on my TikTok, no real reaction, and then, of course, I posted it on my YouTube. That video got a lot of heat in the comments. I decided to make another video of me clarifying, like, hey, it was just a joke, chill. But then after that, I then see a video from another YouTuber regarding that challenge. The challenge was all over the news, as to be expected. I then decided to, like, make a third video, like, clarifying my thoughts. And all I said was, if your kid laughs at it and enjoys it, then it's okay. But if your kid doesn't like it, then they don't like it. Because, you know, there was uh, some doctors reported that, like, you know, if you're doing that uh, prank, you're pretty much, like, teaching your kid that hitting people is okay. Which I can understand. There's fun things that come out of doing that prank, but then there's also bad things that a lot of people don't consider. And also, again, as I mentioned, there are, like, parents doing this trend. And, you know, there are some parents out there that use their kids' reviews. Which sucks. <laughs> this is this is totally unrelated. Something like, something that just came up. I remember uh, seeing this one family channel. This was so random. This was on my recommended. I don't know how it got there, but it got there. And this was like this new channel that was just starting out. I'm not going to throw out names, but... And their their first video was going to be posted like... I think they just posted the, their first video like this month. As soon as I saw that there was a new family channel, all I could think about was like... Uh, like all the other family channels on YouTube that just got like a lot of flack. Because again, they use kids for views. But it seems like the family channel that... The new family channel that I saw... They seem to be going in the right direction as far as what they want to do. Also, I tried doing a live stream on my channel, which didn't end so well. How it all started, I bought Mortal Kombat 11 on Steam. It was on sale. I bought the full version, which included like the DLC characters and the DLC missions. And this, is, this was like during the time when I was on a bit of a Mortal Kombat high. I've been uh, re-watching like the Mortal Kombat 1 trailers and they all they all look dope and that got me pretty excited for the game although on the downside I don't have any of the necessary tech to play it on I don't have a PS5 I don't have an Xbox I think the only thing I could really I could really afford is just a gaming laptop of course, I don't really have enough money to get one. And so, like, uh, in late July, I decided to do a live stream of me playing Mortal Kombat 11. And it didn't go so well as uh, my laptop isn't really suitable for that. Wait, we're streaming now? Wait, I gotta make sure this is right. Wait, this has to be, wait. Oh, I stop recording. I said start streaming. After like trying to stream for the first time and went to shit, I then like posted 
on my community tab. I basically just said, note to self, don't do live streams on a low end PC with no graphics card. That was the thing I was missing, a graphics card. Oh yeah, something else, like I was just on my uh, community tab trying to find the post regarding the live stream thing. Also, uh, this happened regarding TikTok. My account almost got banned because I was not of age to be on that app. A 20 year old human being was deemed not uh, age appropriate to be on the app. And the app is made, it was clearly made for 13 year olds and above. <laughs> I was able to uh, get that problem uh, settled and I, and I basically had to uh, like show some identification and stuff, which was odd. And I, and I also had to like hold up a paper with the, with the code that I had to write down that TikTok gave me. So strange. So that was what was happening over the summer. Now I'm going to talk about what's happening now. So it's junior year. I'm currently in my second week of school right now. And this is going to be a bit difficult. With me growing my YouTube so exponentially quickly this year, my mind has been honestly just been stuck on that even though I have like other priorities right now with with homework and with pasta as a club officer. Oh my god, dude. Like with uh, with me growing YouTube so quickly, like I've been losing like motivation on pasta stuff, which is unfortunate. And I'm trying to like regain that back. Like I remembered like uh, last school year when I was a club officer, I was ex I was pretty excited just to like do the things that I wanted to do to like, uh, you know, make the club a memorable experience for people. But now I'm like repeating everything like three times every week. With me growing my YouTube so fast now, my mind has just been stuck on that when I should also be uh, focusing on other stuff too that I signed up for. As far as classes, I'm taking five classes right now and they all add up to uh, 15 units, which is like the requirement to be a full student. And as far as the schedule goes, currently today, as you can tell, I only have one class to go to and it starts at 1.15. I'm going to leave at 11. And it's nice how... FYI, I'm all by myself right now. My uh, my mom and like my other siblings left to work. And that leaves me to uh, walk to the bus and do my normal style of transportation that I've been doing since the first time I stepped on to college. Since uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, although Fridays starts at uh, 12, it starts at a later time, but it's relaxing how it starts late because like I'm in here chilling, I'm doing, I'm editing a video, I'm talking to you guys, even though I'm not really facing the camera right now. <laughs> like it's relaxing how I'm able to just, um, to just like focus on other stuff beforehand before I go to school. As with Mondays and Wednesdays, it's pretty early. It, my class, my first class starts at 9.30. It's pretty draining as my last class is from uh, 4 to 6 and I'm just like gassed out. And to add on, I have uh, 4 classes on Mondays and Wednesdays, which is insane. <laughs> and they're all in person. They're all in person. But yeah, that's just uh, what I've been thinking about uh, just going into this coming school year. Like pretty much the last 2 years I've been BSing it and still passing but this time like I think the stakes are higher I haven't failed a class yet I don't want to I just gotta like do everything I can and just because I have five classes like doesn't mean it's gonna be easier as a as you know the college they're gonna kill you with papers and stuff like that and just spans of homework depending on who you got and as of right now I actually do have that and boy is it gonna kill me but we got uh, this semester and next semester. All I gotta do is pretty much just fight my way through it all. This is currently my third year. After that, I got one more year left, which is insane. Let's just hope by the time I get to my fourth year of college, I'm, I'm already making money off of YouTube. Hopefully. I also, I forgot uh, in regards to my uh, Disney trip. So Disneyland, of course, has like character meet and greets 
and there was one character that I was dying to meet, and that was, of course, Captain America. As I was wearing a Captain America shirt to the park, when me and my family were at Avengers Campus, he was there, and then as I was trying to uh, get in line to take a photo with him, a cast member was there at the end of the line. As I got there, uh, the person told me, uh, sorry, we can't, we don't accept anyone else. The way the meet and greets work, where, I mean, in some cases, there's people lined up, but then they're going, they immediately, like, cut the line off, like, once the character appears. And so, like, I tried falling in line, like, four times to meet Cap. All the times I tried to line up, the cast member is already there to, uh, cut the line off and not accept anyone else, which is unfortunate. We then decided to, like, uh, fall in line to, uh, take a pic with Loki, and that was better than nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Thursday, August 31st. You could probably hear someone on the mic, that's because a club fair event is happening, it's called Alfresco. I don't have time to go there as I have a class at 115, and I'm going to be inside the dance studio. But also, uh, yesterday, I left my, uh, sketchbook for my uh, costume class, so I have to get that back. Hopefully it's still there. I think that was like the last place I remembered. That's the place where I lost it, if I'm correct. Okay, I got my sketchbook. I guess I do have some time to kill before my 115 class starts. So for now, I'm gonna stop by the pasta booth, possibly help out a bit at Alfresco. This is huge right now. One, two, three! We are Eastman! Yeah! Okay, it is like 1.35 and I'm back in the dance studio. Okay, so here's the thing. I got here at 12 just to pick up my sketchbook. Then I went to Alfresco until like 12.45 and that's when I decided to go to the Raw because I uh, needed a place to like dance for my uh, 115 online class. Problem was though, I didn't get an email that had a Zoom link in it. And so I just decided to head here to see if the class was in person and it's not. So I want to say assumption, maybe the teacher sent someone else a Zoom link and thought it was me but it wasn't. That's just my assumption. So, so for now, I am just going to uh, clear the storage out of my phone so I can film some more stuff because the pasta fall open house starts at five and I'm gonna film a buttload of stuff at that event. So I'm just going to rest up, uh, free up the storage on my phone and then at three, I'm gonna get out of here and head to the union, the new union. that that's going to conclude today's video thank you for watching this school year is going to be a bit of a tough one but i'm going to do my best to get through it all lastly i want to mention that the channel has now passed 900 subscribers thank you to the people who subscribed and supported this channel and to end 2023 off strong let's get to 1000 subscribers before this year ends now if you want to support the channel even more you can buy a pair of zero shoes like the ones i was wearing in this video using my affiliate link doing that your purchase will go back to me it's a great way to support the channel and also you can leave a tip through my coaching link both where you can find in the description 
With that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and goodbye!